Hey folks, Steve here. Today, I got a project. Uh, with most projects, I'm able to film much more easily at my house so I can do a little bit more just kind of Steve on the job site because if I'm coming to you or if I'm doing it for myself, generally it's going to run the same way. And so kind of job site workflow. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so this is my front walk. And with my front walk, I have had it trenched out and I had a pad put in. I need to put that brick back. So this is my original brick walk. These are all bricks that we found on site back when we moved in in 2005. We were able to repurpose uh, just about all of them. Some of them are in, uh, are in pretty good, pretty bad shape. You know, I can make them work. Basically just reconstructing the walk. And when I deconstructed it, that's exactly how it should go. So I know that it's going to fit back in this space. Workflow. As I assembled a list of tools, that I needed. And so I made that list and then I ran around back with my truck, started collecting tools. Some I just ran around the house in the wheelbarrow. I, when I kind of pulled into my own house, I surveilled how I want to do this. And how I want to do this is I believe I'm going to set up my tile saw right in here. I have my tile tools. I'm going to fill those buckets with water because I have water right around the corner there. I have a hose that I'll hook up today for the first time this season. I have tools ready to go to mix the mortar. I have a broom to sweep off the walk and get that prepped. I also have in my truck the hose. I'm going to blow the thing off. I've got my knee pads and I do have hearing protection. My belt with the tape and chalk line and all that kind of stuff. That's effectively it. My tile saw is just simply over on my porch at the moment. So this is me kind of surveilling and figuring out what my workflow on this process will be. Um, I'll do all of my cuts that way. Uh, I grab the brick from there and I'm doing the work right in the middle. So I think that should be uh, a fairly good workflow. I don't have to cut those brick that are existing. Intermixed with that, I have obviously you see some bricks that are not the same thickness, but we use them. And because I was using a sand base uh, for my original, I could do that. You know, I could make that work, but I'm going to have to shim this, this, that. I'm not a mason. I kind of generally get the idea. I've done this before. Now I do tile, but in tile, I'm, it's a different set of problems. So I just have some extra brick there. And that brick is what I'm actually going to use on the tile saw. And I will basically create shims out of that. Uh, so uh, uh, with the mortar and with those as shims, I should be able to establish enough of a secure bed to get those thinner brick up to the level that I need. And then I should have a level or at least a flat application. I'm not so concerned with level. I am concerned with flat. Swept blew the thing off so I know I'm dealing with you know pretty much a clean slate here the weather looks good so I'm, I'm okay there pull, pull my layouts found center back there transferred that line up to here made sure everything looked right when I stepped back you know is it actually looking square with everything because this pad is not perfectly square got my two layout lines center line offset line should be ready to go started making shims using uh, some bricks that I had on hand. Uh, one thing I discovered is uh, just a restriction on the depth at which my tile saw can cut. And I was thinking because it's cutting brick, brick is uh, traditionally softer than porcelain tile. However, not my experience that that thing right there, that wonderful cobalt, that's not the one to cut uh, brick, at least not a lot of it. I managed to cut those uh, one brick half inch shims started into this brick, it just didn't work well. I'm going to use concrete board. Uh, it's, you know, it's waterproof. It's not going to go anywhere. It's very little expansion contraction. So I'm just going to cut that into brick sized pieces. It's a half inch thick, which is the ideal thickness I need in order to mortar and everything else. So I think that's going to be a viable alternative. If, it, if I screw it up, at least it's mine and I'll learn not to do that again. Otherwise it is now shim time, creating a bunch of shims. So when I mix mortar, I can just start running and gunning and laying tile laying brick. Workflow is going well. It's just right tools, right job, right application. I'm figuring this out as I go, having a good time doing it. Beautiful day to do it. Let's, let's make some shims. Okay. So the process seems to be working. There are all my pieces down there. Then what I've done is I've laid out my grid. So I have a lot of half blocks and I have a lot of those and I want to make sure that I don't run out because once I start mixing mortar and start setting down, I really don't want to stop except for mixing more mortar. I'll start with a half a bag and see how far that gets me. I'll be using a quarter inch trowel and we'll, we'll see. We will see. Tile tools. But today I'm going to use a quarter inch trowel and I'm going to have that solid trowel there. I have a scoop. I'm going to mix my mortar up in there. I'm going to do a half bag starting out and I'll be hand mixing it with a hoe and I'll be actually laying it down with a shovel. Not a mason, but I play one on TV. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, it's uh, I'm winging this one here and uh, I'm hoping I'm winging it correctly.
Okay, let it slake for a few minutes and then I should be ready to start spreading and laying some brick. So, hey, hey. all right, progress. Yeah, I'm sure you could see it coming. I didn't. It, uh, you know, mortar, right? Uh, bricks, mortar, they, you know, peanut butter and jelly. Well, not really for thin set. Uh, thin set is thin set as a mortar. Mortar is just mortar. So, uh, round two, uh, the mortar didn't work. It was not adhering. I ran down to my local uh, hardware store, talked with them about the problem, and they said, oh, yeah, yeah. And I did some research before that, and I said, well, look, modified thin set that is appropriate for exterior. Thin set it is, and I got out my drill a little bit there, and I will mix in a bucket this time, and I will start uh, troweling this down, and this should do a little bit better. I have, this has been a very casual day. I haven't been, it's, it's, it's all good. And I'm learning. Okay, let's get to it. So folks, game tonight called on the count of darkness and I'm out of thin set, although I could mix up more, but then I would need to set work lights up. And I do have the ability to do that, but there's nothing critical that has to be done tonight or tomorrow. So I'm going to postpone this project for a week and I'm going to revisit this next weekend because I'll have to arrange to uh, pick up a brick saw something that'll actually cut these bricks and it'll cut them like quote-unquote butter 
Uh, in my tail saw, it's it's a struggle. It's just not really meant to cut brick. Although I thought brick would be softer and that it would be okay, but there's a thickness issue. And even if I try and do halfway, flip it and do halfway, which I did for a few things, it's just not designed for that. And it's you know it's a three hundred and fifty dollar tile saw. I don't want to burn the motor out. No sense in doing that for what little I have. I'd prefer to burn somebody else's motor out. All right, well. Next weekend, I'll finish this up. For you, it'll be just what comes next, but for me, a whole week will elapse. And then next weekend, if the weather's right on a Sunday, then I will be able to have the saw, finish the cuts, and then finish all of this, mix up thin set, and have a great time of it. Celebrate maybe with an adult beverage. Okay, until next weekend, or until the next, yeah. Hey folks, Steve here. And this is a continuation of my sidewalk video. And so what I have done is, let me, there you go. Uh, the dry, or the, the sidewalk is in, it's been uh, thin set in, and now right, uh, and now I am using this particular product from Lowe's. <laughs> it's a polymeric sand and the color is gray, I believe. So let me show you what I have over here. So the sidewalk is in, and it came out okay. I have confirmed once again I am no mason, and I understand that, so it is what it is. Um, we have that concrete base, and I was dealing with probably three, four, possibly five different kinds of brick, and none of them really matched up with each other. And so, yeah, it's flat, but it's uneven. I shimmed where I could. Uh, so it is it is what it is, but it's an old sidewalk, and we repurposed the bricks that were on site. So this is what you see. And it actually it looks okay, especially wet. <laughs> it looks great. Following the instructions on the bag, I've never used this product before, but it's easy enough to, to figure out. And so I need to wet it again here in just a moment, and then wet it again after that, um, and just to get that water soaked in and allow the sand itself to uh, bond. And then, hopefully, we're done. Then it's just mulching and, and being done. So anyway, there you go. So I'll wet this thing again. Hey folks, here we are at the end of the year, end of the season I should say, it's uh, late fall, mid fall, and I forgot or I lost the footage for the end of the sidewalk project. And so I'm going to just shoot, hey, here's what it looks like when it's done, just to give you kind of a capstone for this particular project. It was fun, I certainly learned, I'm not a mason, and <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be one anytime soon. But in the end, for me... Uh, we didn't have to cut too many corners as far as, you know, what we'd accept as for quality. But, you know, I wouldn't ask anybody to pay me for this one. All right, hey, here you go. Check this out. <clears throat> All right, so there you go. There's the sidewalk finished. I have the poly polymeric sand in there really firmed up nicely. It's holding all the bricks and that should be a permanent application. Uh, this side of, you know, mortar or grout or anything like that. Uh, so, there we go. And you can see, really, really did well. We're very, very happy with exactly how this turned out. And it should not move after this. And we have a little bit of a fall thing because we have a graduation party that we're hosting today. And wow, you know, just really nice. Compliments all of this uh, beautiful landscaping my wife is uh, responsible for. And really, really just sets everything off and cements the idea in that it's an old house. Thank you for sticking with me for the uh, sidewalk project. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't think you learned anything other than, Spence, we knew you're not a mason, but now you've confirmed it, and I did. <laughs> but anyway, you take care. Have whatever it is you're having. I hope it's a good one. You all take care.